okay today the message will be given by our elder brother Reverend Suichiro Nakamura so I would like to read to you his autobiography his biography we are so grateful that Reverend Nakamura can speak with us at this time that we can understand the special grace and salvation you probably know Reverend Nakamura best as the amazing brother who has been teaching the 21 day monthly workshops in Chiba he has been teaching there since 1999, 17 years. Many miraculous testimonies of how brothers and sisters found the reality of heaven in their lives, finding new direction and purpose in life through his teaching. Through chains of life experiences, new awareness, many tears and grace, Reverend Nakamura joined with True Parents Movement at the age of 18 in 1963 one of the earliest pioneers in Japan. He became church director of Pioneer Witnessing and soon became staff of the headquarter department of education. In the 1970s, Reverend Nakamura served in Hokkaido as a prefecture leader and IOWC. He then became staff of the Professor's World Peace Academy. He continued in church education and became the director of headquarters education department. In 1983, he moved to the USA and for eight years, he did missionary work there with the New York Headquarter Church, director of witnessing, regional leader, national itinerant worker, IW, and education department. On his return to Japan in 1991, he became the leader of the Tokyo area and guided new families with divine principle about blessed family life. Then, in 1999, he started to teach the 21-day program in Chiba. In April of 2016, he came to headquarter to be a guide and advisor for fast pastors and an IW in the Tokyo region. Such a wonderful life of service and love he has lived. He and his lovely wife were blessed in 1970 in the 777 couple blessing, and they have a daughter and two beautiful grandchildren. Thank you, Elder Brother Reverend Nakamura for coming. So let's welcome our speaker, Reverend Sochiru Nakamura. Let's <laughs> So before he will give to us his speech, may I read to you the words of our true parents, chapter one, true parents, section three, proclamation of the true parents and the three great subject, partners principle, 154. Even though God's providence of restoration continued throughout history, over countless years since the creation, the ideal standard was not established. Upon my arrival, the Unification Church was established and made it possible to re reveal the truth. As a result, I have announced the true parents and the completed Testament age. This is a historic event. Yet, it is more than an event. It will serve as the starting point for the building of a new world culture. What is the new world culture? It is the fulfillment of the promise God made to humanity at the time of creation. It is neither the age of the providence of restoration nor the age of the providence of salvation. Rather, it is the time to build the new world of the ideal of creation. God thought of the words true parents before human beings did. The appearance of true parents is God's ideal of creation. The core of the ideal that God intended from the beginning is found in these words. Thus, heaven cannot sit still. We are entering the age of worldwide transformation. The one thing that you must know is that it is possible to graft based on loving heaven more than anything else of Satan's world. 
When the love for heaven becomes weaker than the love for Satan's world, everything which has been grafted will die and the bud won't grow. Therefore, in the Bible, anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up the cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Matthew 10, verse 37 to 38. Jesus said, Love me more than you love anyone else. Why did he say that? Because of the love of God should not be below the love of the satanic world. When God's love is above the satanic world, a bud can grow. Here, all what has been sown over the last 6,000 years has become fertilizer to bear fruit. The fruit born here has nothing to do with Satan. It started from a bud which was connected to the God's love, God's life, and God's lineage, and bore fruit. In this way, you do not need religion or the Messiah. You can enter the kingdom of heaven directly. February 20, 1991, from the absolute value of the blessing and achieving the responsibility as a divine tribal Messiah. Okay, thank you. Let's welcome once again our speaker, Reverend Suichiro Nakamura. Uh, 25 years passed, therefore my English abilities went down. My English is very poor. Uh, therefore, please be patient to listen to me. But I will do my best. Uh, brothers and sisters, all of you joined the unification movement 30 or 40 years ago. And you receive the blessing by true parents. Then you uh, had the Japanese spouse. Then you moved here to Japan. The, since the time, you have been making effort to build the idea of family and to realize the kingdom of heaven here on us. I appreciate your work in Japan. Then today's topic is, as I say, what is a good news of, what is a good news, what is a gospel of completed testament age? Then subtitle is, the, the meaning of the spiritual and the physical salvation of true parents. And uh, uh, we can reflect ourselves what kind of grace we could receive by true parents? And how, and how we can realize uh, the God's original idea sent out on our own family and in this nation and to the world? I joined the church in 1963 when I was 18 years old. My parents are the Buddhist. Uh, 
when I was young, I went to the kindergarten, uh, 1951 or so. Then uh, Christian, I went to the kindergarten the Christianity. Then Mrs. Mary was the one of the teacher from the United States. I can remember the Christmas celebration in the kindergarten. As I said, my parents are the Buddhist, therefore I was not a Christian. Uh, when I joined the church, many young people joined the unification movement. In 1965, father came to visit to Japan. He went, uh, he visited the 40 world, 14 nations in the world. It was the first worldwide tour. I welcome the father in Kyushu. According to listening father's words, I was so inspired. And uh, summer 40 days of pioneering in 1965, we could witness the four people uh, and brought them to Tokyo from Kagoshima, southern part of Japan. And two of them became the full-time members. I was so inspired and also I focused to do, focused to accomplish my mission. But uh, I was a very mission-oriented ori person, therefore very strict. Uh, kind of, I was a jud judgmental person. Therefore, uh, I had some difficulties to embrace the people and also to forgive the many peoples. Sometimes people are a little bit lazy and also not focused. In that situation, I, I was very judgmental. I wanted to overcome this uh, my weak point. Then 1967, Father came to Japan and gave us the Divine Principle uh, lecture by uh, Reverend Yu, the first president of Korean church. About 14 days, father and mother and two children and uh, 12 disciples of 36 couples. At the time, I was interested in to understand the Christianity. And uh, some of you may know a very famous evangelist in the United States, Billy Graham, came to visit and he gave the many beautiful speeches. I wanted to attend the special rally, but I couldn't do it. But when I see the pamphlet, then I, can, I could see the very beautiful faces of uh, uh, ministers. Some of them are white, some of them are black. But their face was so beautiful. I was uh, moved. Uh, these faces are made by God's love. And also, uh, Mr. Oyamada, former president of the of Japanese church, he was a Christian before joined our unification movement. I respected him, I was very, uh, I, I like his speech because his uh, speech was based on the Christian faith and a deep explanation about the true love of God. In those days, I had many prediction to understand Christianity. 
in the beginning of November, I could have deep spiritual experience in Osaka, uh, Takarazuka training center. I was MC of 14 days, 14 day special workshop. Second or third day of the training, uh, training workshop, when I was eating the breakfast, strong intuition came to me. It said, Jesus was crucified on the cross for my sake. Before the time, I was not so, uh, I, I didn't understand so deeply about Jesus' sacrifices. Of course, I know, I knew, but couldn't understand the deep meaning of his love and uh, faith towards God. I went back to my staff room. I started to pray. Then I could realize, I could recognize, aha, Jesus was really uh, sacrificed his life for me and for all the people. And he redeemed our sins. When I was attending the morning service, the Christian, we sang the Christian hymns. At the time, uh, I was so moved and tears came down from my two eyes. Then my heart was completely changed, 180 degree. Uh, It was a kind of uh, spiritual experience as Holy Spirit. My heart was completely changed. And also, uh, the very next day, I started uh, the morning prayer before 6 o'clock. I wanted to pray in the holy ground near the training center. I prayed to Heavenly Father, please wake me up at 5 o'clock in the morning time. Without any alarm, uh, Heavenly Father woke me up. And I, w I, went to, I went to the holy ground and sang the holy songs, and started to pray. God and true parents, and also missionary, Reverend Nishikawa, Reverend Che, and also my spiritual father, a spiritual mother, and also uh, the many cities uh, which, where I worked for the God's problems. After the prayer, very warm feeling around me, and it continued, it continued uh, five or six months. As I said, I couldn't understand the deep love of Jesus, but I could understand uh, according to this, my own spiritual experience. Then I, before this experience, probably I was in the stage of Old Testament age. But after this experience, my spirit went up to the stage of New Testament age. Then I could understand this kind of grace spread from the Roman Empire to the whole world. And uh, the service 
Western Christian civilization to welcome the Lord of Second Coming. I could recognize this is the uh, spiritual salvation of New Testament age. Now we are living in the completed Testament age. What is the difference between the gospel of New Testament age and uh, completed Testament age? Let me explain my own, based on my experience. It happened in 1987. At the time I was in the United States, our mission is to invite the Christian ministers from the United States to Korea, give them the Divine Principle Lecture, and let them understand the Father's providence to work with two parents. I was in Atlanta, Georgia. I met uh, many Christian ministers. We could talk with them, but I had uh, some feeling. They love Jesus and they believe in Jesus. Of course I love Jesus, I believe in Jesus. But some kind of a, you know, different feeling towards Jesus. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what it was. In 40 days workshop, which Father held in uh, Water Mission Center in New York City. During 40 days workshop, 40 day workshop, probably when I was praying, uh, I could see the Jesus from the Christian point of view. The second step, I could see the Jesus from the true Father's point of view. Oh, it was like that. Christian is here. They were looking up at Jesus. Jesus is on the cross, but he was always smiling and gentle, uh, warm feeling. Praise come to me. My burden is not heavy. I embrace you. I save you. That kind of warm feeling. Then I could understand this is a Christian's point of view towards Jesus. But next step, when I see, when I saw, when, uh, I could see the Jesus from the true father's point of view. Not from the below, beside of him, uh, probably in the left hand side of him, I could see Jesus. Jesus was still crucified on the cross. His hands were nailed, feet were nailed on the cross. He must be painful. He must be, he uh, has agony. But Christian people didn't know Jesus is a graceful Jesus and, you know, gentle Jesus. What am I, when I saw the Jesus who is on the cross, still, he was in a painful situation. When I saw, when I understand the point of view, Father's point of view, Wow, Father could understand Jesus' situation and the painful heart. And also, true Father could understand the Heavenly Father's heart, who has been looking, keep looking Jesus' situation and heart. 
Then I could recognize Father decided to liberate the Jesus and also comfort the Jesus and comfort the heart of truth, heart of God. He had a determination. He has been working to fulfill the mission which Jesus was supposed to fulfill. Why Jesus was still on the cross? Why Jesus is a painful, uh, has pain, had a painful heart and also uh, he had agony? Because Jesus was su supposed to be the true parents, but he didn't have his spouse, he didn't have his children, he didn't have, he couldn't see his descendants. He couldn't restore the three objective love, parental love, conjugal love, and children's love. Therefore, he couldn't look up Heavenly Father's face. According to Father's words, he was very painful situation and he couldn't look up God and he wanted to hide him a hundred times before God's face. We say, we learned, Christianity is the position of adopted children. We, brothers and sisters in the unification movement, are the position of true children's position, true children. What is the difference between adopted children and also true children? Adopted children have the position of children, but they cannot understand the situation of God and the painful heart of God. But true children can understand God's painful situation and God's heart. Then let us think about what is a completed testament age. In other words, what's the gospel of completed testament age? True parents, true father, received the Heavenly Father's blessing. He had a holy wedding in 1960s. And through the seven years course, he decorated the God's day on, in 1968. He became, he could restore the true parents. Before the time, he could restore, he indemnified all the vertical uh, indemnity condition horizontally. In other words, Adam's family and Noah's family, Abraham's family and Moses' coast and Jesus' coast Nobody could accomplish their own mission. But Father accomplished all the failures which they couldn't fulfill in his lifetime. Then he was on the top of the growth stage. Then he could receive the blessing 
by Heavenly Father, and he became a true parent. After seven years, because he was at the top of the completion stage, then he declared the God's Day, true God's Day, in 1968. We could receive the blessing. What is the meaning and the value of the blessing? One meaning and one of the value is through, the, uh, through receiving the blessing, we could change our lineage from satanic side to the God side. We are the children of God, we were the children of God, but now we are the children of, uh, we are the children of Satan, but now we are the children of God and true parents. And also, because we could change our lineage from satanic side to the God's side, then we are the position of Children, ch children of God. Therefore, we can inherit God's true love. True love of God. In other words, true parental love, true conjugal love, true children's love, for great realm of heart, which was, which were restored by true parents. Therefore, we are allowed to establish the ideal family centered on God and to establish the kingdom of heaven here on earth. According to the principle of creation, we could learn, uh, we can learn, God created Adam and Eve as his own children. They were supposed to be the true parents and uh, receive, receive the, to re uh, receiving the blessing and they were supposed to be true parents and also true love, true life and a true lineage must be started. But because of the fall, all of the things were disappeared. Then false parents, false love, life, and false lineage came out. Because of that, all human beings, even they made the effort as much as possible, but they couldn't reach the God's original ideal world. But now we can see the true parents. In the past 6,000 biblical histories, nobody can see, nobody could see the true parents. In other words, nobody can experience true love of God. But now we are living in the complete the testament age because of uh, the blessing we can experience true parental love, true conjugal love, true children's love. In Father's world, we were the slaves of Satan in the satanic world. But Father paid all the indemnity with his blood and sweat and tears. He could bought us. He could buy us as the sons and daughters of Heavenly Father. He redeemed us. In the New Testament age, Jesus bought us with the price of 
crucifixion. We are bought by the Father with his tears and blood and share blood and tears and sweat in his lifetime. Now we experience, we can experience true love of God which nobody can experience in the past history. All of the people he could experience was the love in the satanic world, in the whole world. We are really standing on the new, new ages which could, we can, standing on the new age. Uh, let me explain one thing. Uh, one blessed children, the sister, came to attend a uh, special three-day workshop for the blessing, the meaning and the value of the blessing. Uh, she has a question. She had a question. She studied the Christianity uh, to understand more deeply about the Father's uh, value, true Father's value. In other words, a true value of the unification movement. He stopped, she stopped the study in the university and studied the Christianity and the other religions too. Then he had a, she had a question. He read many books but by Christian authors. Uh, many Christians had a question, had a question. They understand uh, Jesus is pure love. But on the other hand, they have uh, some question uncomfortable feeling towards the conjugal love in the, the secular world. And one of them said, if, he, if somebody can explain about uh, you know, pure love of a husband and a wife, uh, I would like to listen to him. Then she asked me, uh, in the divine principle or unification move by the unification movement, can you solve this? Can you give the answer of this question? I said, yes. Because Jesus was crucified on the cross, he didn't have any physical body. He didn't have his spouse, and he didn't have his children. Therefore, his salvation is just a spiritual salvation. But Father has physical body, spiritual body and physical body, and he became the two parents. He had children, he had family, and he experienced all the three objective love. Therefore, we can have pure love even the love between husband and wife, in other words, sexual love. Then I suggested to her, after this three-day workshop, you may come to attend the 21-day workshop before you went back to your university. She attended the 21-day workshop, and the next year, she was uh, one of the leader of FE special workshop. And also, my own experiences, uh, most of the 777 couples, they are really focused uh, to fulfill their mission to realize the ideal kingdom of heaven here on earth. Therefore, most of them were not so interested in to marry. I was one of them. Therefore, 
after I received the blessing, before starting family life, as you know, first generation studies uh, the fall of man. Before the marriage, brothers and sisters must be separated. Don't stay in the same room. Right. But actually, starting a family life and stay, will stay together in the same room. Therefore, I was so, uh, how can I say, you know, I couldn't figure out what, what kind of heart uh, I'm going to have. And I, I learned the book of Christianity then it said, God's love will be manifested. Uh, parental love and conjugal love are children's love. Oh, OK. Uh, it's basically the same with our divine principle lecture. But still some kind of different feeling I had. I could meet with Mrs. Oyamada, and I went to the Holy Ground in Yoyogi Park. When I was staying in the Holy Ground, strong intuition came from above to me. Uh, you can love your spouse. I didn't, I never expected, but you can love your spouse. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Before the fall, God wanted to give the blessing to the Adam and Eve. Hey, you are the husband, you are the wife, and you can be you you can be united into one, centered on God's love. Uh, then I could realize, ah, this is a Real, true meaning of the blessing. In other words, conjugal love in the past history was stained by Satan. Evil desire. But true parents purified conjugal love from the satanic side to the God side. Oh. Nobody could explain, nobody could feel such kind of conjugal love in the past history. Then I could realize, I could recognize uh, salvation by the Father, spiritually and physically, is to purify even the, uh, the love of conjugal love, in other words, not just spiritually and physical. When I, when the husband and wife united into one, in a spiritually and even the love through the physical body can be purified. God's love can be manifested through the conjugal, conjugal loves with the blessed family. Therefore, Blessed children has a different lineage, in other words, the heavenly lineage they have. Therefore, even like uh, looks like uh, you know very secure feeling they have, but their deep in mind, deep in deep point of, of their mind is very pure. If they receive the God's word, they can understand the God directly. Their face can be straight up to God and true parents. Then, uh, let us think about the next point. We could receive such kind of grace which Nobody could have in the past history. How we can realize the salvation with our own family and in this whole world. 
If I say we must know two key points, one of the going over the divide, and the second one is engrafting. In the father's speech, he spoke about uh, going over the divide many times. Here's the top of the mountain, the divide. If the fall, rainfall come, come down from this side, rain flow this, flow this way. And the rainfall come this, the other side, and flow the other side. This is the old secular world. We keep all the concept and all the view of value. But we need to go up and go beyond the divide, in other words, in the Christianity, loving God and loving Jesus. Then you can reverse and the resurrection for the said. In the Christianity, they stressed, love Jesus, love Jesus more than anyone. Then they could feel the deep love of God through Jesus. In the same way, in order for us to be resurrected, and we must, uh, in order to, for us to have reverse, loving God and loving Jesus, and our case is loving two parents more than anybody, more than anyone. But sometimes we are going beyond this, but going back this side. That is a, our problem. Therefore, we must keep our own standard going over the divide and keep the certain heavenly standard. And the other point is engrafting. First as oriental person, therefore, he spoke about persimmon. This is a persimmon. Sweet persimmon is the Messiah. And we are the different persimmon. An astringent, astringent persimmon. Bitter taste of the persimmon. This is a whole man. Then two, of, two, ways of engra uh, two ways of grafting. One way of the grafting is like that. Cut to the top of the tree and grafting of the tree of the sweet persimmon. Then this part can be the sweet persimmon. But actually, around here is a still astin, astringent persimmon, bitter taste. Even this one, but we can, we can say a blessed family, but not a good, not a good blessed family. In Japanese, we say, are demo shikufuku kate. The other way of grafting is, Father said, better way is cut to the bottom of the trees. Then grafting bottom of the tree. Then here, most of the trees uh, sweet persimmon. This is a good breast family. In Japanese, we say, sasuga shikufuku kate. What is the difference? Same grafting, but it cut a part of the trees, part of the branch. Then sweet persimmon, the other is the, the other side, the other, the most of them are the astringent persimmon. And then I have a question. Uh, which do you prefer, above one or the below one? 
under the right? Okay. How we can be the, a good personal tree? Good breast family. Cut to, the, cut to the bottom of the tree means we must cut off the old custom, old custom in the secular world, in the satanic world. Keep the good standard, the heavenly standard in our life, in our life. It means attending Sunday service, reading the Father's, words, Father's Word, praying, prayer every day, and also praise service. We must keep this, these good heavenly tradition. Then we can be a good blessed family. In August in 19, uh, 2015, in last year, 104 BC, second generation, could attend the 21 day workshop. At the time, we could check how was their lifestyle and how was their parents' lifestyle. I, we asked, hey, your parents attending the Sunday service every Sunday? 80% of them are attending Sunday service every Sunday. Some of them, 20 or uh, you know, 10 or 10% uh, or so, couldn't attend, cannot attend uh, every Sunday because of their job or something like that. And also, second question is, reading the Father's words every day, every day is 60%, and every day praying, Praying as 60% or so. But point is, praise service, even the parents, around 50% could keep the tradition. And also, uh, we ask the blessed children, 60% of them attending uh, Sunday service every Sunday. Uh, other people, you know, 20% or so, uh, twice or three, twice a month or so. And also, uh, reading the Father's words every day, around 60 or 50. And also, uh, praying every day, 50 or 60%. In other words, you know, 20% or so, they don't pray every day. It means some days they pray, or some other days they don't pray. It means they don't keep their life of faith. And also, uh, precepts. Among the hundred or four blessed children, 25 keep attending the prayer service every, uh, you know, anshir, how can I say anshir? Anshir, 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 every anshir. And also, blessed children, you know, attending a Sunday service every, every week and uh, reading the Father's Word every day, praying every day, and the prayer service every anshir, you know, 12 of them keep this standard among one of four. Do you believe this is the reality? It means if parents keeps, keep good tradition, but children keep good standard. But parents sometimes didn't, don't keep the tradition. Then children's tradition is going down. But actually, when I was at uh, Chiba National Training Center, parents didn't attend the Sunday service, and uh, they were not so enthusiastic to keep their life of faith, but they 
send their children to attend the 21-day workshop. It's kind of a strange situation, isn't it? Therefore, let us re reflect ourselves. True parents gave us uh, much grace. We could receive uh, amazing spiritual freaks salvation by true parents. Then, if we reflect ourselves, we can bear, can we bear the fruit of father's sacrifice and dedication, sweat and tears and blood? If we reflect ourselves, even we try to our best, but we are not enough. Father said, in Father's words, in order for us to receive the blessing, only one condition, most important condition is that true parents is our own parents. In the past history, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, and many people had a deep faith in God and absolute obedience. If we compare them and us, their life of faith is very high standard. They kept, keeps very high standard. Our is very low. But Father said, they had a very high standard of life of faith, but they couldn't have only one thing. They didn't know true parents. Even Jesus came here on earth, but he couldn't declare the true parents. But we, we, are, we cannot keep the strong high standard of life of faith, but only one different point which we have is to understand the true parents, to believe in true parents. Therefore, if we have a confidence, we are the children of God. Nobody can deny. Even God cannot deny. Such kind of strong faith and conviction we have then we can receive the blessing. Therefore, Father ascended to heaven, three years passed. This time, True Mother will give us the great holy, four great holy items. And through this, True Mother, give us a pardon. Uh, and also give us an opportunity for a new start. Therefore, we can reflect ourselves. What is the gospel of New Testament age? What is the gospel of spiritual and physical salvation by true parents? And what is the key point of our salvation? Then we can reflect ourselves. We can start again uh, to reach the goal of Vision 2020. Uh, I have to stop, prepared some program after this Sunday service to uh, explain the to receiving, to receive uh, four great items. Uh, therefore, we can understand, uh, we try to understand, and we can make effort to reach the uh, grace, uh, to reach the goal, which 
Heavenly Father has been looking for. Uh, let's make effort and to do our best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Reverend Nakamura, for that very moving testimony. So that is how lucky we are here in IFA, because many of our elder, early Japanese brothers and sisters, uh, brothers, early leaders, early members in the church, they personally give their testimony, their deep experiences with heavenly parent, true parents, and Jesus. So that's how we can feel how much they love us. So it's our time to think how can we reciprocate that love while they are still alive. That we have to think deeply that we need to return, return something.